Hello guys, it's, you know, that's what plays here, and we're back again today with another episode of Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, last time, we got our start of Pokemon, battled our rival Blue, and that was about it. It was a very short, uneventful episode. Unless, you know, you count starting out your journey as eventful. That was, you know, sarcastic. Of course it's eventful. We're about to go on a Pokemon journey. Yay! Alright, so as soon as you walk back out, and this is back in my way, I've got to remember to stop doing that. <laughs> as soon as you walk back out, you... I will, I'm going to go talk to my mom. And, you know, just because you're about to go on a journey, you need to talk to your mom. Red, you should take a quick rest. Ah, still love that music. Oh good, you and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. And that's all she says. Yeah, there's no bye, nothing. She was ready for you to leave and everything. Uh, in the first episode, you know, every growing boy needs to go on an adventure someday. Uh, but, and if you're picked a girl, she, I think she just says every child, I don't know. But, every growing boy. Um, so, she's just ready for you to go. So, now that we have our Pokemon, we are able to actually go up here because Professor Oak stopped us this time. And this is Tall Grass. This is how you encounter other Pokemon in the wild. Um, Every single route has a certain amount of Pokemon on it, uh, with certain percentages to catch each one, uh, you know, run into each one. Um, now, I'm not going to research which one, and, you know, other YouTubers will put them up on the sidebar. Um, Chugga Conroy, he's awesome. Um, but, nah, yeah, that's too much work. I'm just going to keep talking and, you know, ramble on through all this sh crap. Haha, I caught myself that time. Alright, our first encounter is a Rattata. Now, I say Rattata because that's how I always did it. I think I used to say Rattata, um, and, you know, or like Rattatata is how I used to say it, which might be correct, but screw Pokemon names. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say whatever I want to, and if you're gonna, miss, you know, correct my pronunciation, I'm from the South, I don't care. Alright, so, now wild battles are, the wild Pokemon are a little bit weaker than trainer battles, so this guy even with that defense drop, probably won't give me enough of a challenge as Red did. I won't have to use a potion, seeing as how he got my defense twice, and... Yeah, he's dead this turn. Well, fainted this turn. Okay, and you're still gaining experience from each battle. And that's the basic point of running into wild Pokemon. So we're gonna keep going up this route, and I don't think I discussed it, but that guy down there gives you a free potion. There's multiple free potions you can get in this game, and I'm gonna try showing all of the starting ones. Um, there's a lot of just hidden items in general. Let's talk to this guy. See those ledges along the road? It's a bit scary, but you can jump from them. You can get back to Pallet Town quicker that way. <gasps> we can jump- uh, uh, uh. God dang it, you stupid rat. With your red eyes and gaping mouth being creepy as heck, and being a female and everything. Alright, I guess I'm gonna battle this another battle. Um, I'm not gonna show every single wild battle, um, but in the starting out part, you kinda need the experience, because um, there's not a lot of trainer battles, so I'm going to show them, and Soar leveled up to level 7. Um, as you can tell, every single time you level up, it shows you how much your stats level up and everything, and uh, that's actually really good to you know keep track. Sora learned Leech Seed. As I was talking about in the first one, this is a setup move. Um, every single time... Oh, uh, I jumped off the sledge and you can't go back up because you can't climb more than two feet. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna show Leech Seed in the next battle we run into, because I'm sure we're gonna run into one. There we go. Don't be what I think it's gonna be. Okay, cool. Right it's up here. Um, Leech Seed is a setup move where whenever you use it, you get Tail Whip. Sora being very slow is going to annoy me. I'm, you know, Charizard or Blastoise, they're decently fast. Blastoise is a little bit less so, but he still outleaps out speed speed. Leech Seeds is a move that at the end of every single turn, you get exp uh, health back. That is one of the plus sides to grass. They have a lot of moves that gain health back and take it from their opponents. Kinda like vampires. It's pretty cool. See, I didn't have to use Leech Seed again, and I still got health back. Now, it's not a lot. Um, it'd be a lot better, I think, you know, the higher level you get, the more damage you do, so stuff like that. Um, I don't remember percentages or anything, 
so don't quote me on that. Again, I should research a little bit of this, but not going to. But as you can see, Leech Seed will also paint the Pokemon if you do it right. Alright, I gained another 24 experience, and I'm out of the patch of grass. Alright, let's go up to Viridian City. Um, this is the first town of the game, and as you can tell, they have Pokemon Centers. Uh, this is the place where you go to heal your Pokemon for free, because, you know, Pokemon has free healthcare. America does not. Eh. I really don't need to get political in Pokemon videos, but I, I had to. Thank you for berating. We restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. It's a terrible thing to say in a hospital. Alright, in the Pokemon Centers, you have, of course, the Nurse Joy who heals your Pokemon. And up here you have a PC. Which PC would you like to access? Someone's PC uh, allows you to the Pokemon storage system. You can withdraw, deposit, move Pokemon, and you can move items. This is where you can store items and don't have to go home to store. Um, no, this is where you move items on the Pokemon. I am sorry. Uh, this is where you don't have to go home to store them. Uh, this is, you know, item storage and mailbox. Uh, we'll talk about mailbox a little bit later whenever we can, you know, buy mail. But that's all there is to it, and since I don't have any Pokemon, I can't actually show how the PC works. You also have a town map in every single Pokemon Center, and this is the Kanto region. Now, this is one of my favorite layouts of the region, because it's not linear. Like, this starting path is linear, and then you go all willy-nilly. And, you know, later on in the Let's Play, you'll see how willy-nilly you can actually get. Alright. Please feel free to use that PC in the corner. The processionist told me so. It's so kind of her. She actually wants us to come back to a hospital. Ugh. There's a Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. Hey, I already said that. It's free. Pokemon Centers heal your tired, hurt, or, Pokemon, or faint of Pokemon. They make all Pokemon completely healthy. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, since we're done here, there's also another building in every single town, uh, most towns, what I want to show. This is the Pokemon Yard. This is where you can buy items and, you know, it's a, it's a mart. Uh, you can also sell some stuff you collect in your journey you just won't use. There's sellable items and a lot of items I won't use in this journey, so I'll sell them just because I don't want to, you know, run up my storage space. So let's go in here. Hey, you came from Pallet Town? Yeah. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it back with him? I'm not an errand boy, but I don't have an option. We received the Oak's parcel. I think that's what that says. Uh, I don't know. Again, from the south. I don't know how that's pronounced. Alright, so since we got our item, I guess we can go back down to uh, pallet time. Ooh, jumping. Uh, this is the first kind of side quest of the game. You have to go in the Pokemart to progress the story. And I kind of, you know alluded to that I was just going and I just talk, but nah, I had reasons. Um, I'm going to skip all this grass because of the ledges that you can actually do it, except of course this grass. Don't run anybody. Yes, okay. Alright, now we're back in Pallet Town. Let's go and give the parcel to Professor Oak. Nope. Oh, Red! How was my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? We delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order, thank you. Grabs! I'd almost forgot. What did you call me for? Oh, right, I have a request for you two. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokedex. Ah! It automatically records data on Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Red and blue, take these with you. We received the Pokedex from Professor Oak. You can't get delighted. Wait, wait, wait. You can't get delighted. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon by just seeing them. Oh my god, that was a bad misread. You must catch them to attain complete data. So here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. We received five Pokeballs. Red put the Pokeballs in the Pokeball's pocket. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. 
This won't always work, however. A health Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. To make a complete get guide on all the Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you to, to, to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. Alright, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Red, I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to the new one, Red. Ha 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 ha. Don't bother coming around to my place after this. Hint. Hint. Alright, so the Pokedex is, like you said, the encyclopedia to, you know, you know, collect data on Pokemon. Now, this is mostly kind of a side thing to collect. Uh, there's 151, and you fill out the pages as you run into the Pokemon. Um, there's no reward, I don't think, to collecting the Pokedex. Um, I think you get, like, a little diploma, but they don't introduce the shiny charm until the fifth generation. But our starter Pokemon. There's a plant-based seed on its back right from the day this Pokemon is born. The seed's seed slowly grows larger. And, you know, area unknown, you can't catch it. That is one of the great things about this. If you see a trainer with a Pokemon, you can check to see where the area you can catch for that Pokemon. Rattata is in a lot of places. It's kind of a common Pokemon. Um, but the starters you won't be able to you won't be able to catch anywhere. So Charmander, just like Bulbasaur, area unknown. Uh, the only way to get other starters is if you have multiple copies. And while I'm playing this on the emulator, I can't show this off um, of the same game and a link trade cable. Um, you know, multiple copies of Fire Red and Leaf Green. Um, you don't have to have two Fire Reds or two Leaf Greens. You can have Fire Red or Leaf Green. And you use the link cable, start over a game, or, you know, actually have friends, and play up until this point where you get the Pokemon and Pokeballs, and then you can trade Pokemon in Pokemon centers. Uh, so that's how you get all starters if you're trying to collect the Pokedex. And, of course, if you're trying to collect the Pokedex, you should know more than you know, just me rambling on. Wild Pidgey appeared, and it couldn't have been better, cause Pidgey, I think, is going to be my first character. He's a normal flying type, and he grows into some pretty, I'd say decent, uh, Pokemon. And the only reason I'm using Pidgey is cause, man, I gotta have my original bird guy. I've got a name for him and everything, and I think y'all are gonna like the name. So, lower yourself down to red, throw a Pokeball. Um, now he still can break out, but you get a higher chance the lower his health has. You can also inflict stats like Perilous, Paralyze, uh, Burn, Sleep, or Poison, and it boosts up the chance of catching him even higher. Um, but Pidgey's data was added to the Pokedex, and Pidgey does not like to fight. It hides in tall grass and so on, foraging for food such as small bugs. Give a nickname to the captured Pidgey. Yes. Um, give me a sec, and I'm going to. And name. I have to name him Flap Flap. It is my name. I don't know why I came up with this name one of those days I was playing through this game, but I went through, caught a Pidgey, and I was trying to nickname him, and I'm just like, he's a bird. I'm just gonna name him Flap Flap. And it stuck. I use Flap Flap on Pidgeys every single time I get him. Even when I was playing through later generations like X and Y, uh, where Pidgey shows up again, I had Flap Flap, and it was great. Alright, so while we're here, let's check out Flap Flap. Let's just look at him. Now, once you catch him, his health does not regen. He's got a mild nature, and his attack and speed are the highest stats. Ooh, Keen Eye. Uh, prints that loss of accuracy. That's actually really good. I don't think he can... I think he might have early bird as well, or I might be thinking of a different bird Pokemon, but Keen Eye is the one I like. And so his moves are just tackle. And since he's level 3, we're going to put him ahead of the battle, uh, of the team. That away, uh, he can still get experience, and we're going to do the switch method. So... I'm going to actually battle... There we go. Um... Crap, another Pidgey. Ooh, level 3. We can take him, even with our low health. Yeah, no. Switch. This is a way to switch out your Pokemon where every single Pokemon inside the, uh... battle still gets experience. Freaking critical hits, I swear! 
<laughs> and I missed. Oh my god. If I die to a random Pidgey, I'm going to be mad. Okay. Jesus. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm normally try to avoid using potions and stuff, but I, I want to show off getting some you know, experience for uh, our majestic clap clap. Alright, so... Thank you. Thank you for giving me a critical hit. Alright, now, since you split the experience into two people, you won't gain as much. But it's a good way to get underleveled Pokemon, you know, trained up. Um, I'm going to go heal, because I don't like, you know, everybody being low. Um, once you go to the... Once you go to the healing center and everything, uh, of course, your caught Pokemon will be back to full health, and you can uh, go to training your Pokemon as is. Uh, normally at this point, I do a little bit of grinding and get to a decent level for the Pokemon I just got, but I think I'm going to do that off camera, and I'm going to end this episode right here. Um, it didn't make much progress, but we're not going to in these earlier videos. I gotta keep them short and just jam-pack a lot. But in this episode, we made it to the next town, Viridian City. Got an Oak's Parcel, which is just a special Pokeball, what they never explain what Pokeball it is. Some people think it's the GS Ball from the anime, but eh, whatever. Um, and, you know, we caught our new team member, our Majestic Flatback. I'm gonna love that name. Um, so we'll catch y'all next time, and I think I'm going to level up and get flat flat the same level as Star. Um, so I'll see y'all guys later. Bye.